Hi, um, I'm Arthur with Renaissance Art, and I just wanted to talk... Oh, first of all, welcome to my tea room. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about why we write, and I'm going to do this in two parts. Um, and so I guess the best way to start is to um, just talk about a letter that my son sent to me about a month and a half ago. And it was he mailed it to me. It was just four words in the letter. It said, I love you, Papa. And my son is 27 years old, he's married, and it, was, it impacted me that he took the time to stick a stamp on an envelope to handwrite it and send it to me. But not as much as something else about it that really impacted me. And it was, when I looked at that letter, the words were great, I love you, Papa. I mean, what father doesn't like that? But what I noticed about it is that my son writes like me. He forms his letters like, like I write. He prints, I print everything. My son prints. He signs his name like I sign my name. And that really impacted me because it says my son imitates me. And there's really no font for that. You know, he could have emailed it to me, but I would never know that he imitates me like that. And so that is that was just really, really special and really impactful for me. The other thing is, so that's a letter I'm going to file away in a shoebox somewhere. And in 20 years from now, you know, when I'm off somewhere having a vacation or something and my son's visiting the house and, and rummaging through some of my things, he opens up the shoebox, sees all these letters, and he finds this letter that he sent to me 20 years ago. And he looks at it and he remembers that he wrote that and he mailed it to me. Um, that will have an impact on him as well. So that's kind of cool about writing. And you just don't get that with email and stuff. Um, another friend I had dinner with a few weeks back and um, she literally found a, a pack of letters uh, in a cedar chest. This is a true story. Um, and her mom, this was during World War II, and her mom was on the west coast, her dad was on the east coast, and they had been writing back and forth. And they're all their love letters. And when my friend was about seven years old, her parents got divorced, and so she grew up really never knowing that they had any kind of a love life, because she never saw that between them. But when she read these letters, she saw that they did, and that impacted her. Um, and so she, under, she was able to relate to the love life that her mom and her dad did actually have. And that was kind of cool. But what impacted her even more is that when her mom wrote these letters, her mom was 25 years old, and that is the age of her daughter right now. And so that had, had a lot of impact on her as well. And so we write for basically um, three reasons that, why I write. I write to remember my past. I write to cleanse myself and to give myself voice in the present. And um, I write because uh, I'm responsible out of feeling of responsibility for my kids and my grandkids and all that. And so we'll pick that up in part two. Thanks for watching.